Hi guys, Gary Campbell here. I'm going to show you some of the uses and uh, how the operation and how these uh, Win CNC XHC pendants are set up and how they're used. So the buttons on the screen uh, will relate to buttons that are on your screen. So here's a shot of what my screen looks like. Okay, and you can see this is the original button set. Then here is a modified button set that uh, here's what my buttons how I've, I'm really using them right here. Okay, so to start out now, I'm going to take and go with these buttons. Wake, that is if the pendant has been set down and not used for a time. Wake will allow you to wake it back up from the battery saver. Abort is the same as the escape key on your computer. Seek limits goes to your home or initialize routine, whatever that button is. So it's homing the Z. The X. And the Y. The next button going the next button going across is the pause. So if I were to put it into motion Let's see, X24. You can see it move over there. And if I hit the pause button, it stops. Hit it again, and it continues. I can also change the feed rate. And I can slow it down. So you can see how I've got infinite control and of course all the feed rates are changing on the screen. The repeat button is uh, for repeating the same file and the set XY would be the set of zero. So to move using the pendant you set the axis that you want to move to uh, and then I would be using transit and I can transit this is on I'm seeing my screen here that's fast medium slow fast and I'll go back to medium using the x-axis y-axis z-axis and I'm going to go to slow and I could bring the Z down to wherever I wanted now I could also go into jog mode and this set at one tenth of an inch so each each click is one tenth I can then go to ten thousandths it's going to be a little hard to see in the video and then to one thousandths so that would allow me to set the bit exactly where I wanted it at this point I could set my XY and you can see that my user coordinates here are shown at zero and my machine coordinates are here I'll also set the Z at that height so you can see that my Z is zero there, but my user coordinate is still there. The next row, park. I've got a park button on there, and that routine runs the park. The next one is spindle. It starts the spindle. Another press turns it off. This button on mine, uh, on, as you saw my uh, 
imaginary keyboard was to clear the Z and I will now clear the user offset from the Z it's still zero to the spoil board the next in the next row home where I set my XY previously if I use this button clear XY you can see the XY is cleared, I press home again and it goes to the machine home. This button operates a dust foot. This button operates an air blower. Let me move the machine over. This button operates my air blower on and off and this one measures the tool. The last button that I haven't showed you on the bottom is the pins button originally on mine it's the tool eject so I can go over here push the button eject the tool and put it back in park the machine and that's basically how it operates oh there's one one more feature I'd like to show you so if I start the spindle spindle shows my spindle RPM So you've got feed rate control, you've got your spindle speed, and you notice when the feed rate is on, it'll show what your feed is and your speed, your spindle speed. It'll also show you that on there. I can change the spindle speed ahead of time from here. Say I wanted it at 12,000. So I would stop playing with a 12,000 and then start my spindle. A if you have a rotary axis not installed on this machine Z and again incremental one thousandths ten thousandths a tenth of an inch or in jog mode fast medium and slow as for the settings on your machine same for Y X and this would turn it off so on and off button that's it